Hey guys, it's Christine here again, and I know that I have not done a video in probably like three weeks to like a month, and I'm so sorry. Um, I've been kind of busy lately and just kind of taking a break because you guys know that I did the 31 video, 32 videos in January and, or December, sorry. <laughs> My brain's out of focus. Anyways, um, so you guys know that I did all those videos and I kind of got a little burned out, not like burned out like I totally totally miss you guys but I just kind of like lacked inspiration for videos so I have a few coming up um I definitely want to do a January favorites I want to do a huge NARS haul that you guys are going to be shocked at all the stuff that I bought um I need to do a project 10 pan is over video so yeah, I have a lot of videos in mind, and so today I wanted to do a Valentine's Day tutorial since Valentine's Day is next week, and it just hit me that it's next week. So I need to get that up first, and then we will work on the other videos. So the products that I'm using today are part of my NARS haul, so um, I'm not going to go too much into detail into them, but I freaking love these products. I'm like already obsessed and I'm just so excited. So stay tuned and we are going to get started. Okay, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first things first, I have already prepped my eyes um, with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You guys are gonna see me bouncing around a lot. It's because I no longer have a desk chair. I have an exercise ball that I sit on. So if I get a little too shaky, I apologize like if you guys complain too much clearly I'll go back to my desk chair but I'm just trying to do this for exercise and kind of like um, regain some balance you guys just saw lucky in the back so anyways okay so um oh my gosh I haven't done this in forever so I'm like kind of a little nervous <laughs> so I've seen some Valentine's Day tutorials already and I love them but I don't want to see any more like burgundy or brownish tutorials so you guys are gonna get a pink eye and I know that that doesn't sound glamorous but it's going to look amazing I've worn this two or three times and people have like stopped me and been like what are you wearing and so I just have to show you guys and it's a new trio um, and a single that's by NARS I'm absolutely obsessed with NARS always have been always will be and I think that that's it. Oh, by the way, I have no foundation on my face because it is my day off from work and I do not wear foundation on my day off. So I just have some concealer right here in this area. You know, you guys know I get a little yellow right here. So that's all that's on my face besides like moisturizer and stuff like that. So let's, I already prepped my eyes. So we're going to get started. So, okay. So this trio is a brand new trio from NARS. It just came out last week and it's called Douce France. And it is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with all of these colors. You get a nice kind of cranberry color. You get a medium pink color right here. And then you get a very, very light color, which is going to be my brow bone color. So hopefully you guys can see this. I am going to get started. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brush and putting the shadow the middle pink shadow so the bright pink shadow all over the lid and I really really am liking this pink look Gizmo are you okay you guys see Gizmo in the background Gizmo look he's got an orange ball in his mouth isn't he like adorable oh my gosh hold on guys okay guys so back to the tutorial Gizmo I think has left okay so this is the middle pink shade, and it's a really, really nice, bright, kind of like bubble gum pink shade. You guys can definitely see it better that way. I am obsessed with this shade. I love it. I wear it like almost all the time now. It's like my new go-to shade. And so I'm just washing that all over the lid. You guys can kind of see it. Um, it's coming up lighter on camera than it is in person, but I love this shade. So I'm going to do both eyes. And like I said before, I prime my lids with Duvet Shadow Insurance. NARS sells a really good eyeshadow primer. 
and so does Urban Decay. So, and then some groceries, not grocery, but some drugstore brands are like Palladio has a good one and NYX does too. So, there are primers in every budget. And priming the eye is so good so you can get a good base and really get your shadows to stick and stay longer. Okay, so now I have the pink on my eyes. And pink is a really good color for brown eyes. I don't know why. It just is. Like, and so, like, I just love, love, love it. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to take, sorry, is my transition shade. And it's Max um, Soft Brown. Yeah, Soft Brown. I'm going to take this brush that I got from Walmart. And I'm just going to run this into my crease. It's just like my skin tone, but a couple shades darker. And so it just, any shade I lay on top of it, it just kind of intensifies the color. So I absolutely love this. So, I mean, I could leave the house like this, throw on some mascara, and just be gone. But I do want to show you guys the other colors. So um, I have just worn this look by itself, and I've really, really liked it. But we're going to do some other stuff. So the next shade I'm going to take is going to be this nice cranberry color, and it's so gorgeous. I was a little kind of taken aback by it in the beginning because it is so bright red, but it doesn't come out bright red on your lids. It comes out um, kind of like a bright pink. So I'm going to take a brush, make sure I'm still filming, and I am, um, and then I'm just going to run this into the crease and this is a very buildable color like that is a very um that's a lot of pigmentation right there it's a very buildable color but I just like a little bit I feel like a little bit goes a long way and I just kind of bring it like halfway in the crease because we're not going to do the whole crease we're just going to do kind of like a half crease oh it's so gorgeous I just absolutely love it um I have seen a lot of people wear this color like all over the lid too. That's actually like kind of trendy right now to wear like a bright like red. Okay guys, sorry about that. My camera cut off. But what I was saying was a trend right now um, on any eye color, people are just wearing like just bright red shadow like all over the eyes. And that doesn't always look good, but this cranberry color like is very gorgeous. And it's completely different than the cranberry color, like the actual cranberry color from MAC. So, because I have that color. And this has more red in it, and that one has kind of more pink in it. So, I'm going to do the other eye real quick. And you just want to, like I said, you just want it to, you want it to be an intense color, but just kind of like half, like in the crease. I absolutely, absolutely love this color. It's so gorgeous. I haven't put it, like, on my lid yet as a color, but I think that that's coming next. Not in a tutorial, just, like, in an everyday life, you know? I kind of have to get, like, used to a color before I can kind of... I have to get used to it and kind of play with it and experiment before, like, I commit to putting it on my lid if I'm kind of scared. So... This is what it looks like so far. I know it looks scary, but it is completely not scary. And it's going to blend out beautifully in just a second. So now I'm going to kind of like take it and kind of like draw it up a little bit more. You see Gizmo walking in the background. Draw it up a little bit more towards my brow bone. And that's just to cover the brown part from the soft brown. Kind of just like blend the two colors together. And there goes Bella. But yeah, we're still not bringing it into the inner crease. It's just on the outer crease only. And this is going to be a great Valentine's Day look. So I'm going to take a little break um, so that the video doesn't cut off like it did last time. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, so now I'm back and everything is completely blended. You have the light pink color, which I go over like right after I get done with the red color just with whatever's left on the brush just to kind of brighten it up a little bit more and this is a very brightening brightening pink color like it doesn't look like much in the pan but it is amazing on the eyes and I think any eye color can wear this especially any like green or like hazel brownish I haven't tr 
seen it on blue eyes yet, but I'm sure blue eyes can wear it too. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to take the next color, which is the light, light baby pink color, which is this one right here. Taking this color. Um, I'm going to put it in the brow bone, and it's going to go in that inner crease that we kept, like, clear. So, here we go. And this light pink is also a very brightening color. Like, you can tell the difference. Like, see, this is very bright. This is still bright, but not as bright as this is. And I'm just brightening up the eye area. And it also blends in nicely with the the like the darker cranberry-ish color kind of has like a gradation that goes down oh, it's such a gorgeous color okay so now I'm just gonna take it in the inner crease I'm gonna work it up and then work it into the brow bone so that way everything is completely completely blended bring it down kind of put it in the inner corner a little bit and this is what it looks like so far, and I really, really liked this look. Now, the other day, to step it up, I used another color, like, in the outer V, like, lined crease. So, I'm going to do that, too, today. But, if this is what you wanted, this is definitely a very good daytime Valentine's Day look. The next one's going to be kind of, like, stepping it up into night. And I have used this look, and, like, when I show you the other color, I've used both of these looks. And this is really pretty for, like, a, a pretty, like, daytime look. And I feel like it just makes my eyes look, like, bright and awake. And I just really, really, really like the way that it turned out. Because I know when I looked at this at Nordstrom, it scared the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. It didn't... It is so much prettier on than I thought that it would be. So... Give me just a second because they're playing and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So in the same collection that this came out with, Nars came out with a single shadow called Lhasa. And it is like, oh my gosh, amazing. Like, love, love, love the shadow. I don't know how I didn't, like, how I lived without it before. It's just a dark purpley gray color. And I freaking love this. It's kind of taupey too. Like, it's looking more taupe. But this is like a dark purpley color. Maybe if I do it like this. Yeah, you can see. Like, it's just a dark purple color with a hint of taupe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. You guys know that I love this for the line crease. I'm just going to dip it in to my eyeshadow color. And then I'm just going to put it in to my lined crease in my outer V. And it really just kind of defines my eye shape. And I really, really like it. Like it really defines See, you can kind of see a difference like it kind of gives it just a little bit more of a dramatic feel Bella get out of my closet sorry <laughs> she likes to eat things um yeah it just kind of gives it more of a dramatic look and like I said I've used both of these looks during the daytime especially at work like I've used the look that I showed before the purple shadow and I've used this one during the day at work and they both work really well but I just figured that this would be the perfect, like, Valentine's Day night look. And the first one would be, like, the perfect Valentine's Day day look. I know that's kind of like a tongue twister. But, yeah, I really, really love putting the purple in the lined crease. And I hope that you guys can see it. It's, like, right in this area right here. So, I really, really, really like these shadows. Like, I think that they are so amazing. The um, the trio, I think, is $45, and the single is, like, $23, and, but I can do so many looks with, like, all four colors that I was just like, I have to get this. Like, I have to have to get it, and that's not the only thing that I got. So, um, yeah, I just, like I said, I really, really like it. And Bella is standing up in the background. I'm sorry. I, I keep seeing her, like, out of the corner of my eye. She's being crazy today. Usually she's a little more calm, and you guys know this because, I mean, she's usually not in my videos. So, anyways. So, the next step, of course, is cheeks. And I bought the most gorgeous blush from NARS. It came in the same collection. Like, I'm totally obsessed with it. But, you know, first I'm going to have to put on my Revlon 
cream blush in the shade what's it called I think it's like rosy glow like the like the label has worn off since I have started using this so we're just gonna put a little on my cheeks just a little bit real quick and I'm just I don't know I've just been embracing my big cheeks lately I don't know what the deal is like I've just really been obsessed with my natural cheekbones and this is another good one you could just go out in the daytime looking like this we just paint like light pink on the cheeks but I want to step it up a bit I want to be a little more dramatic so hopefully you guys will appreciate the drama make sure that I have nothing on this brush okay so this is like a really really bright pink. <laughs> oh my gosh she's just staring at the camera I'm so sorry okay this is um, another NARS blush and it's called Gaty it just came out with the same collection and bam it is like bright 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 pink like it's not as bright as my desire blush but it's it's pretty bright the lighting is just horrible today like it's a really there we go like that color right there is like true depiction I mean it is a bright blush so I'm gonna take oh it's getting a little crumbly okay I'm gonna take this and just dust it all over my cheeks and I know that this is a very bright blush see like you guys can see it I am obsessed with bright blush for the fall for the spring sorry not the fall the spring I am obsessed with this like rosy cheek color especially in the winter time because I'm so freaking pale and I don't use bronzer in the spring and um, winter time I only use it like in the summer and the fall time I don't know why I'm just weird like that so I wonder if you guys can see that's kinda what my cheeks look like because I know like the further I'm away from you guys, usually the better you can see it. I wonder if you guys can see it without the artificial light. It's a little better. Like, I mean, they're super, super bright right now. Okay, anyways, I'm going to stop with that. Next is going to be lips. I cannot believe you guys let me forget mascara and eyeliner so um sorry lately I have been wearing this by um, Urban Decay and it's called Midnight Cowboy and it's just a super brightening eyeliner in the inner rim it's really just been making the whites of my eyes pop plus I put it in the inner corner and it just makes everything look brighter and whiter just makes me look a little more awake so no heavy liner with this look because this is a very kind of it's a pink look but it's very neutral and kind of natural I mean clearly I know the crease color is a little wild but this look is very feminine and so I don't want to like slap a whole bunch of black liner on so I'm just gonna put on some mascara and I'm just using my Clinique sample in the lash doubling mascara the one in the green too and I'm just gonna put a little on nothing too fancy kinda just want natural lashes with this look sounds like all of my dogs finally left and now they're going crazy in another room. And, yep, they're in the living room going nuts. Don't be surprised if they jump on the bed in, like, in two seconds. Usually their pattern, they like run around and then they come in here and jump on the bed. Anyways, okay, so we have very natural lashes, which I love my lashes. Still haven't done lips yet, have I? Nope. Okay, so I've decided, like, for lips, I wanted to do a Revlon color called Stormy Pink because I want, like, something super, super bright. So we're just going to put that all over the lips. Okay. 
no lip liner because I've actually kind of been going without lip liner lately. So like everything on the face is pink right now. And um, I do have a, oh my gosh, I can't find my brush, of course. Because this is what always happens like when you're looking for something. Um, dang it. Dang, 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 dang. There it is. Um, I just want to do like a little pinky kind of lip. Um, so I have this on. And then next, I've had this lip gloss for like ever. It's by NARS. And it's called Baby Doll. And it's just like this really gorgeous like bright pink color. So I'm just going to put that on real quick. And I'm just putting this on over a pink lipstick. This gloss makes your lips feel very, very glossy. So there you have it, guys. This is my Valentine's Day inspired look. I hope that you guys enjoy. It's very, very pink. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks and have a great day.